In this video, we will learn about how to install Angular material in our application. To implement the design in our Angular application, we have to use Angular material framework. This Angular material framework is developed and maintained by Angular official team. If you compare the Angular material with the Bootstrap, then both of them are designing framework. But Bootstrap is generic framework. We can use the bootstrap in all the web applications, but Angular material is only specific for the Angular. So we can use this Angular material only in the Angular application. Also, this Angular material supports all the material design that are provided by Google. This Angular material provides us lots of components and features that we can use in our application. Let's learn more about this um, Angular material in the browser. Search for Angular material. Material.angular.io. This is the website. Open this link. Um, Angular material. Material design components for Angular. Okay. Before learning about this, let's click on this components. There are more components available in this Angular material. Here we have list of all the components in the left side menu. Now click this uh, auto complete. If you want to implement auto complete in your application, then you can use this component. Click on this example tab. See here we have auto complete. If I type um, any letter here, we are having the suggestion in the bottom. Now let's click this button here we have these types of buttons uh, that we can use in our application these are some common button and these are some icon buttons now click this code here we have the code if you want to have this type of display in your application then uh, you can use this code now we have check boxes here we have this uh, design check boxes. Uh, we have date picker as well. If you want to use uh, date picker in your form, then you can use this date picker. There are so many components in this Angular material. You can see all the components in this website. Other than these components, we have CDK. Uh, for example, If you want to uh, implement drag and drop functionality, then you can use this. Everything is provided only by the components. Uh, these are specific only for Angular. Now let's see how can we install this Angular material in our application. For that, uh, go to this home page here. Click this uh, guides or you can click this getting started here. See here, um, we have the command that we can use uh, to install Angular material in our application. Now copy this command and right click copy. Go to VS Code Editor. Here, let's open new terminal window. Let's add one terminal window here. Okay, here, paste the command which we copied from Angular material website and press enter. Okay. Would you like to proceed? Type Y, then press Enter. Packages are successfully installed. Now we have to choose a uh, theme. See here, uh, there are uh, four to five built-in themes. We can uh, use any one of them. Other than uh, these built-in themes, uh, we can also create our own custom theme. Use arrow keys uh, to choose the themes. Here I will use the default theme. So press enter. Then again it is asking for material typography styles. 
type y and then press enter i want to use typography uh, that is provided by the angular material again it is asking for browser animations module uh, by default include and enable animations is selected so press enter based on these settings um, it will make necessary changes in this application see your packages installed successfully and some changes made in these four files uh, let's see uh, what are the changes um, in these files we can see those uh, changes in two ways either we can use this um, source control in vs code editor or um, we can use tortoise git uh, that we have installed in this system so in the folder explorer right click anywhere and choose this git commit see here uh, there are some changes in these files first uh, we are changes in angular.json file open this you can see here uh, inside these styles uh, we have one more path this path is for angular material pre-built theme here we are using indigo pink uh, theme close this then we have changes in package dot uh, package log dot json file here uh, we have the details about uh, all the packages and dependencies has been installed here uh, we have installed uh, angular cdk and angular material so close this also now let's open this package.json file okay here two packages installed angular cdk and angular material here see in the browser here we have cdk menu to work on this cdk we have to install this package angular cdk and reference of both these packages added in this package.json file close this then we have changes in app module file here we have a browser animations module that is added by the angular material then we have some changes in index.html file um, you can see here uh, we are having some fonts fonts.gstatic.com and we have some fonts from google apis and name of the font is uh, font families roboto and we have some material icons okay close this loss change uh, in styles.scss uh, file here uh, some css has been added the height is 100 percentage and the margin and font family roboto is mentioned here this is a very common setup that is provided by the angular material um, let's commit the changes here let's say angular material framework added and click this commit button here then close it we have done the installation of angular material in our application i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this